after you done Carol 5, the next one on the of the story you need to go is Maelstrom Prison and I think Maelstrom Prison had uh, really good stuff in there. First off there is like a couple of bosses but there is like three bonus bosses as well so I really like the fact there is a a lot of content there just like in Terra 5 there's not much bonus boss there but in here there is a lot of bonus bosses and stuff like that and bonus things you need to do and uh, I think that's a really good experience and you receive really good uh, uh, stuffs and good story in this uh, flashpoint as well let's go to the design for Maelstrom Prison I actually really don't like it because we saw like million times we went into a space station over and over and over again it's good thing and always to be different a bit but we always going into space stations and I really don't like if we going into another one so the design here is not much for me I really don't like it so let's go through the bosses now the first one uh, when I'm go I'm gonna go through all of the mini bosses and things like that as well the first one is the mini boss which uh, the droid not doing anything expect exploding and pull, uh, throwing us away and that's all uh, it's not much of a big thing not much mechanics so for me the, uh, the first mini boss is a 4 out of 10 the second boss is really interesting because it has really difficult mechanics even on hard mode as well I'm doing that one here uh, basically the boss is uh, pull us some laser which you need to avoid and that's why I'm using that crate to avoid that and I'm basically fooling the boss right now and uh, that's all you need to do on uh, story mode as well if you're leveling up and doing this uh, originally because it gives you a lot of damage so you need to avoid it and it will uh, give you a lot of damage on hard mode as well so that that is basically the tactic. I think it's uh, pretty smart to doing that. I mean to fool the boss and things like that. So for me this boss is a 6 out of 10. The first one is another mini boss. Mini, mini boss. Basically what you need to do here is DPSing the boss. And when the ads are coming DPS the ad as well. Basically if you want you can avoid it. Like you're going into the side and don't really bother with it. But if you leveling up and things like that, it's it should be, you, you should kill it. Because uh, you receive good uh, XP for this. So for me, this boss is still not much of a big thing. So this second mini boss is uh, 4 out of 10 as well. After you've done this, you will get the original bonus boss, which is a, a big giant beast which you don't need to do anything just DPS it and sometimes he do a big stomp and that's about it so that's not much of a big deal for me so then boss is a 4 out of 10 as well after that we are gonna have a, a boss with the flying whatever creature and the boss had interesting mechanic mechanics like he disappearing and uh, uh, on here it isn't, uh, but on the, the normal mode, usually he disappears and attacks somebody randomly and do the uh, stab on him and DPSing it, I mean dealing damage. So I think it's really interesting and uh, I liked it so far. I don't understand the chest at the end, why didn't they put the loot instead of the boss, but yeah, whatever. Uh, so for me this boss is a 6 out of 10. After you've done it, you're gonna go to a third mini boss fight, which is basically three um, marauders uh, defending the the last boss, uh, Grand Moff Kilrun, and all we need to do is DPS them. There's not much mechanics there. That's one of the probably the worst <laughs> mini bosses I have ever seen. So for me, that one is a three out of ten. And the last boss, Grand Moff Kirin, is interesting. I really, really like the last boss uh, because you need to move forward and uh, avoid the snipe as well. Because on usually the story, it, it, de it deals really good damage, and you need to avoid the snipe. And as soon as you go there, went into the boss, he doing simple mechanics and things like that. But also. Uh, as soon as you hit it like 30% or 40% he moves back 
even more and uh, yeah uh, I think it's it's pretty good I pretty interesting I, I really liked it so for me this boss grandma of Kieran is an 8 out of 10 overall for me that's where I'm gonna talk about the story the overall for Mails from Prison and Charles 5 the story I think it's really really good Charles 5 had Interesting dialogues and the story. That's what uh, the story is moving forward that flashpoint not the bosses I talked about that uh, on my previous video, but in here especially at the end Like you will receive a good old friend Which I'm not gonna talk about okay Revan and uh, Basically he talks about the past and what happened to him and and I really really liked it like how how are we remembering and how Star Wars The Old Republic is actually remembering uh, Knights of the Old Republic. So I really, really like the story. And uh, it's it's a really good stuff uh, in there. I think the bosses are still not much of a big thing here. But the story is what going to put up uh, this two flashpoints. And that's what... The, that's why these two flashpoints are really, really... Uh, not say really, really good, but it's good after all but the story especially it's hell of a good story here so for me overall the story here on this two flashpoints it's a 9 out of 10 the design here and I talked about it I really don't like it so for me it's a 5 out of 10 and the bosses overall for me is a 5 out of 10 as well so overall for me uh, Maelstrom Prison is a 7 out of 10 probably because of Revan at the end or I don't know uh, but I think it's it's uh, the story what's bring up this uh, flashpoint as well so I really liked it but uh, what are your thoughts about this let me know in the comments uh, below because I am interesting your opinions but now that was my thoughts I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah let me know in the comments what do you think about Maelstrom Prison did you like it or did you like the story only as well just like me or yeah things like that until then see you guys on the next video Bye-bye.